In this example, we're asked to use the diagram shown to find the value of x and round our answer to the nearest hundredth. Notice, however, that our right triangle is positioned differently than in the previous examples. We're given a 40-degree angle, but it's more difficult to determine if the sides with given lengths of x and 4 represent opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse relative to our given angle. Remember that the hypotenuse is always the side opposite the right angle, so our hypotenuse must be the side with a length of 4. This means that the side with a length of x is either the opposite or adjacent side. Since the side opposite the 40-degree angle is the unmarked side of the figure, then the side with a length of x must be the side adjacent to the 40-degree angle. Be very careful when setting up the ratio when the triangle has been rotated like it is here. So we're given that the side adjacent to the 40-degree angle has a length of x, and the hypotenuse of the triangle has a length of 4, and remember that cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, so we can set up the equation cosine of 40 degrees equals x over 4. Now, solving for x, we multiply both sides of the equation by 4. On the right side, the 4's cancel, and we're left with x. And on the left side, we have 4 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Now, if you're using a scientific calculator, you'll type 40 cosine times 4 equals to find the value of x. And if you're using a graphing calculator, you'll type 4 times cosine 40 enter to find the value of x. Either way, we find that 3.06 4, 1, 7 equals x. And rounding to the nearest hundredth, 3.06 equals x.